So today we're going to be trying out some dollar store art. Now, spoiler warning, my dollar store art actually didn't work, but we did make something. I just wanted to see if we could try and take dollar store supplies and turn them into like actual art. Something you should know about me, I'm not actually that artistically gifted. I can't draw, I can't really paint, I'm not, I have no like sense of color theory. I'm not really an artistic kind of person. That being said, um, it's so much fun to watch other people make art and I kind of wanted to try it. And since I was at the dollar store the other day, I picked up some materials that I thought might be able to work for like an art type thing. Ever since I was little, I've wanted to make that melted crayon art stuff. When I was in middle school, I did take an art class and in that art class, we all separated out and did our own like separate projects. And at the time, I was super into origami, so I made a bunch of origami art. As I was sitting there one day, you know, like folding up my paper frogs or whatever, I heard like an, a hair dryer in the background, so I turned around and looked, and there was some kid melting crayons on a piece of paper, and I was like, I don't want to do that. And the art teacher said, no, he's doing that project, you're folding paper, that's your project, you decided on that. And she wouldn't let me do it. So ever since then, I really wanted to do this like melted crayon art. I just think it's like super neat and super fun and I love to make a mess. So I went ahead and got my supplies from the dollar store. At the dollar store there was this pack of 48 crayons. So I went ahead and picked those up and they also had these giant poster boards that were two for a dollar. And by the time I picked up the crayons on the poster board I was like, oh I know exactly what I can do with these. As I said at the beginning of the video, these materials actually didn't end up working and I'll explain why later on in the video. But luckily for me, I had regular ass crayons at my house. A long, long time ago, I tried to make candles using old recycled crayons. Um, it doesn't fucking work. So that was kind of my backup plan. So to start out, what I did is I took my poster board and I cut it down smaller. I cut one poster board just into halves and the other one I cut into quarters. I didn't end up using the half cut poster board just cause they were so big and so unruly. I didn't think I'd like it very much. I only ended up using the quarters. For our dollar store art piece, I took my dollar store crayons and I cut the tips off because I wanted to use the tips as like a tester. And then I lined them all up, trying to match up those little lines at the top of them. I put them in rainbow order because that's always like a nice look. That's usually what you see when you see this melted crayon art and I thought it just looked really neat. I also use this like craft glue kind of stuff that does come from the dollar store. So this is also a dollar store material. So everything I used for the dollar store art is actually from the dollar store. For my Crayola art, I went ahead and used hot glue because I know that's what you're supposed to do and I had some laying around. And then I made this kind of like hodgepodge piece. There were some colors in the crayon box that you don't really use for like a rainbow type effect, like a bunch of browns and grays. And there were some like these weird dusty pinks that I didn't end up using that I threw in there too. And I figured I could just melt these in a puddle and then kind of swirl them around and I thought that might look cool. So after letting me set up overnight, it was finally time to actually melt the crayons. Here's the thing though, I don't own a hair dryer. So I tried a few different methods on my tester piece of paper. I heated up a pan on the stove and held that over them and it did absolutely nothing. I used a curling iron because one of my roommates had a curling iron and held that over them and it wasn't working. I do have reptiles, so use some reptile light bulbs to heat them up and the surprising thing about this is it actually did work it did start melting some of them the only problem is um i also started seeing smoke coming off the paper so i cut that shit out i do want to point out though i have a th little thermometer that i use for my reptiles and the bulbs that i put over the crayons got up to like 120 degrees within the first like 30 seconds of me turning them on so these are some powerful little light bulbs which makes sense because that's what they're used for so after all my failed attempts at trying to like 
figure out my own way to melt these crayons. I was seriously considering just leaving them in the car because it's very hot where I live and I knew that if I just left it in my car it would melt but then I couldn't like force them to go in a direction I wanted and so I ended up deciding against that. Anyway, so what I finally ended up doing is asking my roommate if I could borrow their hair dryer. <laughs> so in the end I did end up using a hair dryer like you're supposed to. So I pulled out my little tester piece and I started blow drying and I was blow drying and I was blow drying and I was blow drying and at about at this point you can see that nothing is happening absolutely nothing I tried changing the settings on the blow dryer nothing was working I was trying to make it hotter trying to see if I was at a lower temperature but a higher fan speed basically nothing was happening and something you might remember about my tester piece of paper is it's only using the dollar store crayons. So a thought struck me. I did a little bit of research before I started this. I was like, what temperature do crayons melt at? Cause I thought I might have to put them in the oven. And it said that, you know, they normally melt at like about 105, but also it depends on the manufacturer and also the pigmentation. So as I was trying to blow dry these crayons and absolutely nothing was happening, um, I thought, well, maybe just the manufacturer that makes these dollar store crayons has them at like a way high melting temperature. So I put my tester piece paper aside and got out my hodgepodge mix of crayons. The crayons on this one are like a mix of the dollar store crayons and just Crayola crayons. So I set that one up ready to go. And sure enough, as soon as I put the heat on the Crayola crayons, they started melting immediately. The dollar store crayons, however, still refused to melt. No matter what I did to these crayons, they were not melting, they were not moving. I mean, I still went ahead with the piece and melted all the Crayola crayons, trying to use the melted crayon wax to like form puddles around the ones that wouldn't melt. I thought it would give it a cool effect. You can judge for yourself whether or not this one turned out alright. I think it's okay. I do wish the pinks had melted more. I think that would have definitely given it like a pop of color and been way cooler. But I don't know. You let me know, do you think it's cool to have like these melted crayons mixed in with these not at all melted crayons? I decided I would give the dollar store crayons like one final shot. So I went ahead and pulled out the crayons that were in rainbow order on the poster board. I set up an old frame I had to like hold it in place while I was heating them up. And I went ahead with the blow dryer and just tried my best. And it wasn't working and it wasn't working and it wasn't working and the paper holding the crayons was melting but the crayons themselves were not. I was getting this like yellow ooze coming out from like the crayon paper, but the crayons themselves were not melting at all. So I did end up giving up on that. But like I said, this story does have a happy ending because I still had my Crayola work. So I went ahead and set up our Crayola piece and got started on that one. I was a little bit disheartened at first because it took them like a little bit longer to melt than I was expecting, but we did eventually get there. The Crayola crayons did in fact melt and they left out these like beautiful oozing colors. The two pinks at the ends of each painting actually melted so much they came out of the wrapping while the, none of the rest of them did. And also I said I like to get messy but I was not expecting the crayons to splash around as much as they did. Like my mug got all kinds of covered in Crayola and even inside the mug which is pretty gross. I got all over my walls and my floor. And at first I was like, oh shit, there goes my deposit. But I just took a magic eraser and scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed until it came off. Since the pink crayon kind of like fell out and was still like smushy, I kind of smushed it up more into the painting because I wanted more pink in that area. Is this cheating? It's crayon art, doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, I love the way this one turned out. I kind of wish the background wasn't so splattered. I'm not really sure how it got so splattered because I thought I was holding the the hair dryer very straight, but for some reason it kept splattering them all over the place. I did burn my feet a little bit because it was just like spraying hot wax everywhere and some of it got on my feet. So I wouldn't really consider this successful dollar store art because none of my dollar store materials actually worked, except for the poster board, but that's poster board. It was a successful art project overall though. 
It was a lot of fun, like I was hoping it was gonna be. I definitely did make a mess. And next time I do dollar store art, uh, I'm gonna make sure I have extra materials on hand in case this kind of stuff happens again. But now you know for future reference, if you want to melt some crayons, uh, don't use the dollar store brand. Or if you want some crayons that don't melt very easily, use the dollar store brand. This was a fun time. I hope you had a fun time. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you all next time.